when I say stay pure, it's all encompassing. It's not just about um, penetration in sex. No, I'm talking about total purity, purity of sight, purity of um, of thoughts, purity of actions. No use, no use pornography whole body like as you are not married yet so let me just engage in pornography masturbation just to satisfy my sexual urge now listen to me a person that lacks self-control as a single will also lack self-control as a married person so if you cannot hold yourself sexually as a single man as a married man you will not be able to hold yourself and even though you will have your wife you will still look for other channels because it's indiscipline at the at the foundation of, of what is wrong with you is indiscipline is lack of self-control do you understand so you'll not be able to control yourself to only make do with, with your wife or your husband you will find other things so so uh, you must learn self-control as a single if you want your marriage to work do you understand so stay pure because your purity is what positions you to receive the best result at the end of your waiting god will not hand over his choice possession to someone that will destroy him or her so as you are expecting god's best you must maintain yourself as God's best also. Do you understand? So your staying in purity, it, it, it kind of positions you to receive the best, the best from the Lord. Um, a scripture came, came to my mind some days back. You know, that scripture that says that the foundation of the Lord stands sure and the Lord knows those who are He. Say, so let everyone that name the name of the Lord depart from iniquity. And what just came to my mind is that ah, this scripture is, is carry you this scripture should scare you this this scripture should scare me and what i mean by that is that knowing that god cannot be deceived should put you on edge should put you should just align you so that you, you don't misbehave because some persons they act as though god is deceived right you see the foundation of god stands sure god knows those that are that are his so no matter what you call yourself no matter what men call you men may call you the best minstrel in it in in this side of eternity men may call you the the any name maybe by what you do in the church or something men may call you good but if god has not proclaimed you good you should be scared he said god knows those that are that are his he knows he knows in your waiting room you must stay there in purity because god sees god knows and he is the rewarder according to his sight according to what he has seen that's how he will reward you he says the eyes of the lord go to and fro across the, the earth looking for those whose heart are perfect with him so that he can show himself strong in their lives do you understand so the the result of your waiting is dependent on your posture on your attitude in the waiting while waiting and one of the ways to wait is to stay in purity don't be deceived by everything going on in the world don't be deceived by uh, you know i've heard several things some 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 coming from men that you you think should be credible the, the, the stand on purity now is ki- is kind of loose nobody wants to be hard on the truth on this truth so you will hear things like you can kiss you know kissing is not spelled out in, in scripture that you know do not kiss so we have small good kissing into relationships we have small good kissing into the waiting room but the scripture is saying i know those that are mine and i would reward according to this my knowledge so if you are indeed waiting on god and it's a privilege to wait on god if you are indeed waiting on god you must wait in purity Hannah, one of the things that things that changed her trajectory was prayer it was on that certain shiloh day 
that she went and she was so deep in prayer that the scripture says that her mouth was moving but no sound was coming out <laughs> that even the priest looked at her and said this one is drunk oh. <laughs> she was so in quotes she was so drunk in the spirit do you understand so as you wait don't lose don't lose your guard don't joke with prayer ensure that you are prayerful ensure that you pray because it's that prayer that would continually align you you know the scripture says in romans chapter 8 it says for we know that all things work together for good to them that you know um that love god and are called according to his, to his purpose but before that verse came into play there was another verse that says um, we don't know what to pray for as we ought it right he said but the holy ghost the spirit of god helps this our infirmity making intercession together with us with groanings that cannot be uttered according to god's will right so it's it was after that verse that he now says that we know that all things work together and when you read the message translation for these two verses you find out that it 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 makes it more clear he says this is the reason we are sure so the reason you can be sure that you are in god's plan is that you are in the place of prayer if you are not in the place of prayer you cannot you cannot stamp your feet on the ground and say i know i'm in the i'm i'm aligned with god so uh, that's one of the confidence that's one of the things that gives you confidence as you wait because sometimes you are like oh this waiting is it of god is it not of god and all of that once you are immersed in prayer it can give you a level of confidence to know that all things are working together for my good so i am sure that god is here with me but if you are not praying you can't you can't you can't be sure you cannot so stay in prayer all right finally stay in joy joy is a fetcher you fetch with joy right in the book of isaiah chapter 12 and verse 3 the scripture says with joy you draw from the wells of salvation so how you will fetch your husband is through joy how you will fetch your wife is through joy you you, you <laughs> there, are, there are some times when god is sending a man to you and you don't have joy the man will be repelled he'll be like god are you, are you sure are you really sure that this is the person because the <laughs> because there is nothing on your face that of course joy is not in the face joy is deeper but it shows in the face so there is nothing there is no beauty in your face to behold because joy beautifies so you must endeavor to stay in the place of joy so don't allow the enemy to um this especially to those that have waited quite a while don't allow the enemy to steal your joy based on how long you've waited for the promise he the enemy can make you lose your joy can make you become grumpy can make you become um um bitter even bitter against god and you lose your joy if you allow the enemy to take away your joy because there are some things that the enemy comes for for example when the enemy comes for uh, when the enemy steals your money it's not the money he's interested in it's not the money that he's really interested in he's interested on another precious commodity your joy for example your peace for example so when he steals those things is it's just so that he can he can steal the the more precious commodities of your life so don't allow the enemy to steal your joy stay in joy be joyful is it there, there, there's a song that says dance that he, teach, he teaches us to dance upon the disappointments so learn to dance upon disappointment he said let her that is barren rejoice do you understand so no matter your situation rejoice forevermore apostle paul was in the prison and he was rejoicing do you understand so it is this your joy that keeps you that um keeps your heart open in that place of waiting and you are able to receive the fullness of what god has for you all right in the name of jesus can you just stretch forth your hand you know your right hand to heaven um, just slant it as though you are receiving and say with me in the name of Jesus I receive the best from heaven 
in the name of Jesus I receive the best from heaven I receive the best my husband is the best my wife is the best in the name of Jesus and so sweet spirit of grace as we have proclaimed this let it become our experience I release to each man his wife to each woman her husband the scripture says that the bones came together bone every bone to his bone in the name of Jesus you will not miss it in marriage oh you will not every relationship that you are currently in that is that has not been sanctioned by heaven I declare it is cut off in the name of Jesus it is cut off in the name of Jesus I declare that the right man comes and when he comes you will know the right woman comes when she comes when she enters your space you will know in the name of Jesus for any person struggling on the issue of purity Se o jena zelia kovre esun sevelia jina ne sove ye kane zie suvele shunavai. Let the spirit of purity rest upon you now in the name of Jesus. Let every impure, impure addiction let it end now in the name of Jesus. From your thoughts to your actions to your sights in the name of Jesus let the purifying fire go through your body and make you pure in the name of Jesus Shalande zole kande verusi venete kande lushi eve kumba zie suveria kapeno Jesus will give you the praise Jesus will give you the glory. Jose Zivene no Shanda Vandes Yesu Prete Kabarabadash. Be thou exalted, Abba Father. Be thou magnified, King of Glory. In the name of Jesus. 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 The Lord is saying, uh, do not worry about the finances. I have it taken care of. I'm going to make a way for you. I'm going to make a way for you. I'm going to make a way for you. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, sweet spirit of grace. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. Amen and amen.